So you want to create some layer masks here in your favorite drawing application. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai and today we are back once again talking about what I just said. Um, layer masks are, are kind of weird and I'm going to explain to you why. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw just something in the canvas so we can draw on top of it, which is going to be just a big circle. I'm going to click right there. Boom. We got a perfect circle. Look at that. Isn't it a crazy how I drew a perfect circle like that? I know. Wow. Incredible. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in a layer. We're going to go ahead and hit this little button right here to add in a new layer. And that's going to pop up right beneath our circle. I'm just going to call this circle because why not? And then we're going to just call this one a high light. Yes. There we go. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and add a new color. We're going to grab a new color so we can see the difference, obviously. So I want to maybe maybe a little bit of yellow. We're just going to make a little yellow, little yellow color. Uh, maybe that's like the sun is reflecting off of the solid black circle in nature. Um, we're going to go ahead and drop my size down as well so I can have a little bit more control. I am using my mouse right now. Um, but let's go ahead and make a highlight. We're going to just draw a little bit of a highlight right on the side of this, right on the side of that cube. Perfect, right? That looks just like a highlight. I don't know why, but there's these weird things that are popping up over top of the circle. I don't want that. I only want it to appear on the circle. I don't want it to appear on the whites or the transparency or whatever we have back here. I'm actually going to drop the color of the background so it's not white so you guys can see a little bit more easy. There we go. All right. So I don't want that. I want it to only be on the circle. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to right click this and we're going to go to group and we're going to select gr quick group. And then we're going to put both of those circle and the highlight into the group. Now, the cool thing about this is if I go over and hit this little alpha button, you can see that when I do that, it only is appearing on the black circle, which is really cool. So the only way to do this is to actually have both of these in a group um, and then put this little alpha on. But if you don't have them in a group, it's going to look like this because it's going to it's putting this on alpha with anything that's beneath it. So it's putting it on the background. If we have another layer back here like that, it's going to put it on that. So you have to make sure that these are in a group, which means that it's only affecting whatever's in the group. So let's put those back in the group again. And as you can see, if yep, there we go, as you can see, when I put them back in the group, it only is a, is a appearing on whatever's in the group. So if I add something else to the group, like maybe I want to add like a little green color, maybe this is a branch coming off of the solid black circle in the forest. Um, I just draw a little, a little line. You can see that now that yellow is only appearing on the green line because the green line is inside of our group. Now, if I want the green line to only be on the black, I once again go, go ahead and hit this little alpha button. And now you can see it only appears on the black. No matter what I draw, only appears on the black. If I uncheck it, you can see that's what we drew. This is what's showing up, which is just very cool. This is great for shading. It's great for other things in this nature because maybe I want to go ahead and uh, have this cube, uh, cube, geez, I don't even know shapes anymore, guys, um, have this circle, uh, my mistake, if I have this circle in a group, and then I want to draw a little bit of shading on there, I'm going to grab a nice, nice, soft brush like this guy right here, just going to bump my size up, and as you can see, I can just go ahead and very weirdly with my mouse draw some nice shading on here, and then now I don't want this, this all this darkness on the actual background, so we'll go ahead and hit this little alpha button, and as you can see, boom, now we have some nice shading. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed today's quick and easy, super helpful tutorial, one of those quality of life tutorials you just can't do without sometimes. These things are kind of crazy, and they don't really tell you this kind of stuff when you open up uh, your programs for the first time. So, I will see you in the next one, but until then, bye-bye.